Suresh Makheja, a seasoned corporate travel professional and author of The Rookie Corporate Gardener. The book is available on Amazon and is a must read for colleagues who have been or are likely to be affected by the growing magnitude worldwide of layoffs, downsizing, or furloughs. I'm delighted to be hosting The Journey Manager, which is the corporate TMC series for the dope news. I look forward to bringing to you fruitful insights from the perspective of the corporate service providers, particularly the travel management companies. Hello, everyone. The COVID-19 situation has created uh, very bizarre situations around the world, uh, affecting people, economies, and several different uh, industries. One industry that has been hit particularly hard is the travel industry. We've had flights uh, cease operations, hotels uh, shut down, and business travel come to a grinding halt. This series aims to get the perspective of a large uh, segment of players, the travel management companies, the TMCs, uh, in terms of how they are preparing to cope with the situation once uh, business resumes, flights resume, lockdown ends. I have with me today a stalwart in the Indian uh, travel management industry, uh, Ajay Bali, who is Managing Director for India for BCG Travel. Ajay has been uh, in the industry for several decades and has grown the business uh, of BCD in India over this time. Ajay, welcome. And I look forward to an interesting session. Uh, do share uh, any additional information, additional background that you would like to, as well as particularly what attracted you to travel uh, way back and what prompted you to enter the field. Hey, thank you, Suresh. Uh, nice meeting you over uh, video, virtual. So that's the that's the new norm, which I presume. Yeah. So I don't know when we'll get across and sit uh, and have a coffee, but yeah, for sure we can be on virtual. So so thank you very much for inviting me. And I think you rightly mentioned, uh, you know, uh, it's been it's been one of the industry which has been impacted. But before I really get into that, uh, just a little background about myself. You know, it, it's it's very very interesting uh, for me to give the statement that the travel industry chose me. Now, I never chose the travel industry because with a finance background, with law, uh, company secretary, you know, all those professional degrees and I was happily enjoying doing uh, finance. And then I got a call from a travel manage, uh, management company and, and there I was, I landed there as a finance guy. Uh, in a couple of years, just got into the total... Uh, the travel uh, feel about it, started liking it, started growing in that company. Spent about 18 years. And at, and when I left, it was I was already a vertical head and I had gone through all the, the travel, foreign exchange, right. leisure, outbound, mice, everything. So it, it, was a, it was a great journey for 18 years. But then in the year 2000, Y2K, you know, that's where I said, let me venture on to, uh, and to be an entrepreneur. And I had a great offer. Uh, we had a good uh, venture fund backing and we said, let's look into the new travel, which is the online. And we started, we created a B2B site. Yeah. You know, and we were talking about booking online and you know, everything was so different and so, so nice. But we just realized that we were a little too early in the year 2000 for bringing technology or online booking tool. Mm. And, uh, that's where, you know, I, we started growing into uh, the offline business. I started this as my own uh, venture. It was ETI Travel Solutions, which was in year 2000. Uh, and then fortunately, two years, yeah, approximately one and a half, two years, I got the franchisee of TQ3 Travel Solutions. And uh, then they, they liked the way we were working. And in 2005, they bought us out. And then TQ3 became BCD, and that's how the journey is. So this, uh, all, I've already completed 20 years of uh, in the new venture. Uh, fortunately, uh, the management of BCD and TQ3 decided, wanted me to continue. So I'm here as an employee uh, from an entrepreneur. But I'm loving it because, honestly, I think it, it's, it's been a great 38 years 
I don't, I just look back and say, oh my God, it was just only yesterday I was there uh, learning the, the, the tricks of uh, how to manage travel. But yeah, 38 years down the line, it's, it's been great, very satisfying. This industry has given me a lot of respect. Yeah, it's a good learning. So yeah, 20 years, 38 years here, I'm in front of you talking to you about my little journey, uh, which, which I think it's good. And I hope yeah. to continue. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You're being modest, Sajay. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> tell me, in, in all your 38 years in travel, have you ever seen a situation of the magnitude that we are experiencing today? Honestly, Suresh, I don't think any would have even thought about this. And I may take a little leaf from the Indian mythology. Even the astrologers would not have predicted this. Mm -hmm. Because this is such an unprecedented pandemic. I mean, it, when it started, we were all talking about, oh, this is like a SARS. Probably it was started in China. It will somewhere, it will remain there. Or maybe it will go to a couple of countries here and there. And that's all about it. Okay. The West was totally indifferent initially. But then this just started growing, growing to the extent that we really didn't know. When it grown today, 214 plus countries or other 230 countries, uh, more than millions of people uh, are impacted and, and it's just growing. Do we know when it is going to end? Well, there are a lot of predictions, a lot of, lot of uh, talks going on, but I don't see the numbers receding that early. So to, to your question, man, this is something which nobody thought about. This is something nobody visualized it. This is something nobody's able to have an answer as of today. Everything has just come to a standstill. Yeah, and, and absolutely. As far as travel is concerned, it's uh, no previous crisis has crippled the travel industry globally at one point of time, you know, together, all consecutively. So uh, as all things, as all situations, we will come out of this as well at some point of time. And uh, how do you see the business travel industry changing uh, or evolving post this crisis? You know, before even if I jump into how we are going to evolve, the first thing first, which really hit me as, as, as a businessman in managing, that the countries just paralyzed. Everything got paralyzed. The borders were sealed. You know, there was a feeling it came to me, have, are we going back to Stone Age? You know, we are just caught up in your house or caught up in your place, there is no movement. And I think everyone said that, oh, you know, without movement, we are just dead duck. And literally that's, that's what, has, what has happened. I, I, I definitely believe, and I, am, I strongly believe that we will come out of this. How fast we'll come out of this, time will tell. If there is no uh, second wave or third wave, we'll be faster. If governments tomorrow decide uh, that we need to open up from the economy uh, point of view or uh, from, from the very fact that it is critical for people to travel, then yes, we will definitely uh, come out, uh, out of this. But the way we come out is going to be a totally different ballgame. But, but as, a, as an organization, you know, I, I think we, we, we have already started thinking about uh, positively then what would be the post covid situation how do you want how do we want to handle it so uh, you know the class or category of people who are going to be affected to a great extent is the corporate traveler um, even though several lockdowns have eased or opened up people at large are not venturing out okay the corporate traveler uh, is also going to be reluctant to uh, start traveling for work. The majority of the corporate travelers are mid-level and senior level employees of different corporations. Uh, how do you see uh, the corporates tackling that? A, and how do you see the TMCs partnering with the corporates to be able to provide the comfort and confidence to the travelers? Yep. Suresh, the first thing, you know, as I said, the pandemic has affected everyone and corporate travel is equally uh, impacted. We did a small travel survey about um, the managers 
And the first thing which really came out was a duty of travel or duty of care. This is going to be the most critical aspect which is playing on the mind of, of a corporate travel, a duty of care, because the new norm which is, which is going to happen, it is going to be so different than what it was previously. And everybody wants to really mitigate the risk. They want to have information in, in advance. Uh, they want to know exactly uh, the travel, how the travel is going to take place, uh, the quarantines, uh, the rules of the country. So all these things is going to play a very uh, important role uh, in, in, in the corporate to take a call. The confidence to travel, the, the trust that you know I can send my employees uh, uh, and they will be safe, they will come back safely. Uh, they will be in a safe environment. Uh, they will be, will have enough tracking about them. Uh, you know, they are reachable. And in case of emergencies, there is a backup plan. So all these things are going to play so heavily on the mind of uh, the corporations and the corporate traveler before they really, uh, you know, think about coming back to travel, decision to travel. Mm -hmm. Now, I can talk about BCD. Uh, we have created a kind of a reservoir of this information and we call it as an informed traveler. So under this informed traveler, we have a host of information which is readily available to our consultants. Uh, it's not, not only about the quarantine, it's not about only the sanitization, the airline rules, the transit rules, the visas, immigration, and what all is possible and today and you you will you will agree that the amount of information which is circulating in the market across is is just phenomenal mm -hmm. now can a traveler even get across to all that no and this is where we bring our expertise under this uh, informed traveler uh, niche and we are updating our employees we are making sure that Every question which is they receive, they have the access to the information. Mm -hmm. And we have even gone one step ahead. Even a traveler today through a click on the link can get all this information about the journey, about the rules and regulations and the do's and the don'ts. I would say we are ahead of the curve as far as we are talking about this information which we have uh, with the agents and which we provide to the traveler. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that that's going to be of great uh, support all around. Uh, so BCD Ajay has been very uh, active on social media recently from the time this pandemic has broken out. So is this informed traveler the uh, central theme of uh, the confidence building strategy? Well, informed traveler is one of the ways of bringing in the confidence to the traveler mm -hmm. but we are we are really what we are promoting is the back to travel digital guide that's okay. what we are saying we are, we are pushing the travelers or we are informing the travelers and we are giving them the confidence and the trust through what we call back to travel mm -hmm. and what do we do under back to travel so we have we have kind of made uh, you know uh, different pillars and one is of course the duty of care right. we are, we are uh, you know, we are combining the duty of care, risk mitigation, and traveler wellness, which is what we are, that's, that's one of the, uh, you know, the pillars which we are talking about. Right. Second part, we are talking of traveler communication, and I just shared with you about the informed traveler. We have right. also taken, and we have been very bold about it. We, we have gone to our corporate travelers and we said that, you know, things are going to change. Post-COVID is not going to be something like what it was earlier. We also even talking about spend management. You know, this is a great opportunity for us now to drive change with them. Optimize travel plans, programs, you know, provide travel experience, positive travel experience. Review travel supplier relationships. Prepare a new landscape. So these are the points which we are talking under the spend management. And we also would we have taken the initiative to talk about the travel policy, you know, mm -hmm. new travel policies to safeguard travel's well-being. So these are, these are the things which we have 
kind of book it under uh, back to travel uh, uh, you know uh, digital guide which we are yeah. sharing with the traveler with the with the corporations and giving them the confidence uh, to come back and start traveling great uh, i think i think several of these initiatives are uh, the step in the right direction so uh, ajay your uh, bcd in india uh, has a a uh, separate mice vertical as well which is integrated into the global network what are the changes that you anticipate will need to be brought in there once you know mice revives so apart from you know having the, the duty of care etc which will be taken care of i mean similar to business travel what other changes do you anticipate or honestly uh, suresh we what we have we have spoken to the customers and we, we strongly believe that the business is very much there we are even changing our strategy to try and support a virtual meeting mm, okay. you know we are we are creating uh, uh, enough uh, information around that how do we handle a virtual meeting so okay. these are the things which we are really focusing today uh, globally as well as in india uh, yes. wherever possible see today if a customer is is comfortable with uh, with a short a small um, uh, you know a mice yes we are there if they are talking about virtual we will be there so that's that's really uh, what we believe uh, will help us be ahead and and be in the you know what do you call in the eyes and in the support of the customer for whatever type of meetings they want whether it is virtual or whether it is physical we are there to provide and we are already working uh, hard on getting it uh, you know executed asap great that's 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 an excellent uh, approach ajay as you rightly mentioned a little while back it's not just the tmcs that are affected uh, industries all over but if i restrict the scope to travel airlines hotels and every other service provider uh, has been affected supplier relationships for the tmcs have always carried greater or great weightage how do you see that aspect of the tmcs activity uh, panning out post covid to me i think this relation ship with suppliers should get more stronger and more mutual respect should come for each other so that we can jointly bring in the confidence because at the end of the day we are both working towards how fast we can bring the confidence how, ca- how fast we can bring travelers back into the plane to the hotels to the cars so that the business come back to normal and what better today is there where we can be collaboratively we work on this and and bring the confidence and bring business back so i'm very sure that you will see uh, more and more collaboration happening between okay. uh, tmcs and suppliers and to that respect the, the agents and the suppliers to uh, to bring confidence in the, uh, you know uh, right. to the travelers do you see commercial arrangements getting moderated see again you know commercial arrangements uh, yes uh, it's <laughs> right now it has taken a hit uh because you know everyone is just struggling uh to to take care of the expenses uh, but for sure i think uh, the suppliers will look at the value proposition which bring mm-hmm. which you bring on the table and i think there will be uh, enough uh, reasons for them to support us and you know and work towards uh, the success for both of us let's let's come back to the uh, traveler and servicing of the traveler do you anticipate that a larger number of travelers corporate travelers would require high touch servicing as compared to previously to me every traveler will require high touch servicing and i'll just give you an example uh, we were, we did an analysis in one of our uh, uh, market international markets and the average handling time for a booking was less than 30 minutes mm. and today post or during the covid the average handling time has gone up to 2 hours mm. now the reason is because today it's it's not about only a, a aircraft an airline ticket yeah. it's about the pre during and the post the amount of information which you required so every booking really needs a lot of uh, you know information which is exchanged and it's not only that i give you an information today and that is sacrosanct because the information is so dynamic Mm-hmm. now it is possible that you make a booking of say you know uh, 5th august yeah. and yeah, so yeah no problems on 5th august blah 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 this is it, this is it 
and you know on on like 25th july the the country has gone into lockdown mm. or uh, some other rules have come so it's so dynamic so it's very high touch it's we are spending more time the consultants are required to spend more time to give more information and more confidence to uh, to the traveler and and how are your staff coping with these changes your frontline so, staff uh, yeah it's it, it's going to be a high toll on them but you know as i said a couple of things which we have done from our side one is the informed traveler uh, we have brought in this uh, you know information booking which is really on a literally on a on a yeah. on a touch of a button just literally you get all this information uh, and not only about a country across the world so that's really helps this the second thing is a continuous training so we have actually formed uh, various uh, cross sectional groups you know and which are working on each aspect is about the information about the processes and what not so these are the things which are being continuously done and that's how so training and uh, information is going to be key not only for the traveler but also for the consultant this basically have any other uh, major initiatives uh, planned uh, over the next few weeks Mr. Suresh, I, I, I know uh, you know what BCD has been investing in technology for a for a long time, and that's really paid today. Today, if you see uh, today, we have got uh, the Trip Source app, which really keeps the traveler updated right from the time he is a booking is made to the time he comes back. So, we have now further enhanced that traveler Trip Source by bringing in. the additional feature like you know you can cancel the booking on the trip source app okay now rather than getting into that so yeah. you are you know you can you can straight away do that the information which we are talking about the informed traveler we are getting it linked to the trip source mm. so the idea is that a traveler can on a, on a, on, a, on his hand on his phone he has got all the information before really start even thinking about travel we have got a, a decision source which is our um, a great tool uh, on giving uh, information to the uh, to the travelers to the corporations and there you we have really enhanced it so today uh, you know the corporations the travel managers and the traveler they have they get so much information on the duty of care and all other uh, aspects so this is a continuous process the the trip source app the decision source this is where Uh, BCD is investing heavily and will continue to invest in that. Great. So yeah, I, I think you you shared extremely valuable insights. And before I thank you for taking out the time, what is the message that you would like to uh, share with corporate travelers, travel consultants, the industry at large, uh, from a perspective of an industry veteran, okay? not necessarily the head of BCD in India. So, as an industry veteran, what in in a couple of sentences, what is a message you'd like to share with everyone? See, Suresh, uh, one thing is, you know, this this pandemic, nobody anticipated it. It has happened. Mm. We have had enough analysis paralysis about the whole thing. We know it's not going to go so soon, and we have to start living with it. Mm. Uh, social distancing. i uh, taking care of ourselves wearing mask all this is part of our daily routine and that's going to be part of the travel mm. but can we be in this situation forever no mm. we all know everything changes if there is a, a patch has come the patch will go but i think what i would say that this pandemic has has made us more resilient mm. has made us more stronger and we have started valuing something which we have never valued is a mother nature Mm-hmm. but i can always tell one thing that the future is definitely much more brighter mm-hmm. and better because i think we have learned a big lesson and i'm very sure that all of us don't want to have a repeat of this thing in our life or in our children's life in future no absolutely i, th- I think that was very well said and uh, for youngsters in the industry as well i think your message is very clear that this too shall pass we we'll get back to old glories or or so fast yes, we will all we will all get back to old glories because i can tell you my friend we have seen this in the past well this is maybe bigger but we'll come out better stronger and as i said we may be leaner but we'll definitely be more stronger great so thank you very much ajay uh, for sharing these uh, insights and views and for taking out the time to be with us today uh, much appreciated and thank you suresh and thank you everyone for views with you Nice talking to you on virtual. 
Yeah, thank, thank you. you. So thank you everyone for watching and uh, may do remember to uh, like, subscribe and share uh, so that uh, more such episodes, more such insights become available to everyone. Thank you again. Thank you.